What's up guys, I'm back with another video, but this time we're going to be on our Elgato software and I'm going to be showing you guys how to get the best quality with the Elgato Game Capture HD. So first things first, go on to the settings wrench tool there and on capture choose input device as whatever you're using, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 3 Xbox, we use that now. Oh that's cool. And um, yeah, I choose PlayStation 3. Profile 180p is the best, but because um, Elgato uses a lot of hard drive space, I put on 720p and on halfway between halfway between best and good because um, it uses up a lot of hard drive space and it, YouTube you can't really tell the difference because you're uploading it to YouTube, so it doesn't really matter. And then I I check preserved source format so that it always runs at 60 frames per second, and I don't check stretch then definition put uncheck that make sure it's unchecked, and then head over to picture, and boost up the saturation to 10 so there's more color because everyone likes color, <laughs> and I leave the order again at six as default for every other capture device and press press OK when you're done and then once once you start recording hit record once you need to record I meant and um, stop it where you want to and go over to edit now I got this clip while playing Black Ops 2 and I recorded it and all you gotta do to upload to MP4 So once you've processed the file, the video, whatever, um, go over to Sony Vegas. And if you have Sony Vegas, you can look it up on YouTube how to get it for free. Uh, there's a trial you can do, or you can get the trial. But there's a way to get it for free, full version. But uh, I'm not going to say how you can do it. Just search it up on YouTube. And I have Sony Vegas Pro 12, and just let it load. Okay, now that Sony Vegas is loaded up, um, go ahead and import the file, media, and then, where is it, that one there. Sorry, my computer's laggy, my computer's not that great, I'm just using the laptop at the moment. And, um, drag it into the timeline. And, I don't know why it's really colourful, we go to properties, and make sure you match video settings to the video you chose and if you have Sony Vegas 12 it has view transform I turned that off because it um, makes the color really really saturated and make sure you got HD HDV 720 30p 1280 by 720 29.970 frames per second and once you've chosen that um, 60 make sure you put this to 59.940 frames per second because that's what um, the Elgato records in put that at 32-bit floating point full range uh, just copy the settings down put this to best put that to Gaussian and interpret fields, fields and start all new projects with these settings as well um, put the audio just copy these settings down guys I can't really remember what I changed here, but just copy it down, pause the video when you, when you need to, and hit apply, and OK. And because I noticed that the Elgato makes it black bars on the side of the video, so what I do is press um, properties, disable maintain asterisk radio, and disable resample. It doesn't get rid of it, but it makes the when you move around turn quickly. It gets rid of the blurriness. Well, it doesn't fully get rid of it, but it makes it more clear. And then to get rid of the black bars, I go to plan and crop, and I have this um, preset I already made. Just make sure these two are unchecked, and then just drag it across to the right a bit so that the black bar is gone. And press X. And then what I do if 
sometimes I um, go to video FX uh, click here and I choose uh, where is it Sony Vegas color correction wherever it is color corrector and OK and I have a preset already called Elgato put that up to saturation to 1 100 and put the gamma down to 0 0.950 and I think these are already like that just copy the settings down as usual and then hit X and now to the render settings um, file render as uh, I render as Windows Media WMV because it uploads to YouTube a lot quicker than any other file I think I'm pretty sure it does and it does take a little bit longer to render but because it uploads to YouTube a lot quicker than other files I've tried it, um, it's what's worthwhile because it does, I, I can play PS3 do whatever I want with the internet while, while it's rendering but I can't do that if it's if I'm uploading a video because it make everything lag so I go 720p YouTube and wait before you do that um, you'll pre you won't have a preset so you're gonna have to go down to Windows Media WMV Windows Media Video V11 and just choose the 512 kilobytes one kilobits I think it's kilobits sorry not kilobytes and um, I'll go down to my templates and this is where you change the template to um, mode CBR Windows Media 9.2 but if you have the ho old version it I think it's like 8 point something just click that and um, change that to 64 kilobytes 48 ki whatever whatever that says I, don't, I can't even read I don't even know what it means <laughs> and just choose that and go video CBR Windows Media 9 or 8 if you have the old version high definition 1280 by 720 and pixel aspect radio 1000 square frames per second to either 30 or 29.97 because there's no point rendering as 59 point whatever it is because YouTube is just gonna degrade it to 30 frames per second so might as well just render it now like that and um, make sure that's on 5 I think that's default 5 make sure it's unchecked override default compression buffer seconds and put the video smoothness to sharpest 100% um, change the to 3M 3 space M make sure the internet slash LAN is checked and go um, go to project and change that video rendering quality to best and leave that as user project because we're not using 3D so it doesn't really matter and then rename it whatever you want blah 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 and we'll hit save and um, it'll all, it'll come up with so whenever you need to render you don't need to put the put in these settings again so you can just choose whatever you called it like I called it 720p YouTube and re click render straight away and render oh, I gotta retitle it uh test okay and that's it guys thanks for watching um i'll put a i put a quality test in the after the video and thanks for watching guys appreciate all the subscribers who subscribe to my channel and all the people who are viewing my videos and liking it so you guys thanks for watching and i'll see you guys later Dry. Be advised, hostile care package inbound.